All right. I wrote a little tiny song called Zerubbabel. The scripture is Haggai 2.23. And I'm going to teach you to see the way the Lord has taught me to see. To see. You hear me? To see. To see. Haggai 2.23. Add a zero because it means nothing. 2.23 is 20.23. 2023. Or it could be 2323. Numbers 2323 says, look what God hath done. But in this in this instance, we're going to say 2023. This is the song for that scripture. On that day declares the Lord. I will take you, Zerubbabel. I will make you like my signet ring. I've chosen you, declares the Lord. On that day, declares the Lord. I will take you, Zerubbabel. I will make you like my signet ring. I've chosen you, declares the Lord. I've chosen you, my servant. I've chosen you, Zerubbabel. I've chosen you, oh my servant. I've chosen you, Zerubbabel, declares the Lord. declares the Lord, declares the Lord. On that day, declares the Lord Almighty, I will take you, my servant Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, declares the Lord, and I will make you like my signet ring, for I have chosen you, declares the Lord Almighty. Haggai 2.23. So I already explained to you that the Lord told me to start telling you the personal part of my testimony. And I did a video back in 2018 where I recorded with my camera my wall in my dining room. And on that wall... I had drawn out things that the Lord had shown me or told me or given me. And one of those things that he gave me was a signet ring. And I think it was back in about 2014. Um, pretty sure I was living in Utah when he gave it to me. And right around the same time, he gave me the signet ring and he gave me a another ring, a ring that had like black stones, like in a circular, like almost like the setting was black stones, but there was no center solitaire. It was just the circular setting on a band. And he gave me those two rings and they weren't a vision. They weren't a dream. It was literally, he gave it to me in the spirit just like when he gave me other gifts. And I didn't know anything about the Zerubbabel signet ring for years, but I know what he gave me. And I'm telling you to let you know that I'm a witness. The Lord told me in 2016, 
2016, he said, you are a witness of these things. My life is a living testimony pointing to what is to come. That's it. Pointing to what is to come. Elijah's coming. Zerubbabel is the Elijah to come. He is the Elijah to come. And Elijah is going to restore all things. He's going to turn the hearts of the children to their fathers and the hearts of the fathers to their children. Literally, the scripture prophesies that he will literally restore all things. He will restore all things before Christ comes back the second time. The final time. I guess let's say the final time. Because Christ is coming in a, in a sense for his bride before he comes to judge the earth. So tonight the Lord said, show them about the bread and the fish because many, many, many years ago, the Lord told me, feed my people to me. And I remember when I lived in Utah, I lived in Utah in 2013 to early 2014. And I would always go to the rescue mission of Salt Lake, like all the time. I was in a horrible marriage and it was like my escape. I'd go to the rescue mission and volunteer and um, they'd have a sermon every single night and they had different people coming in every single night. Like it was the most amazing place what God was doing there. And, um, but I remember asking God for a pocket sermon and it was just what I asked for. Like, let me have a sermon, God. If I ever need to be like somebody that's just called up to the front, like what What if I'm there one night at the rescue mission and they don't show up? Nobody shows up to give the message. Let me be prepared to have a message to tell the people. Fast forward. eight, nine years, less than that actually, because 2017 is really when I started with my songs. He downloaded me with the scripture, literally like a computer program, put the scriptures in my brain. And then um, my songs were little mini pockets, pocket sermons. So he gave me what I asked for. I asked to be able to preach. It's through song, but it's still speaking the truths of God's word and his love and all of it. So anyway, he said, feed my people. And tonight, he showed me some things about fish and bread. And it's one of those things where it ties into like my life directly, but it's a witness tool. God knows why. Can't help it. Literally can't help it. It is what it is. And it keeps pointing to certain things in my life. And I told you I'm writing a musical. My testimony is my song. My song is a musical called The Revelation of Jesus Christ. Started it back in 2017. So here, hold on a second. So, bread. Bread is, in the Hebrew, chala, C-H-A-L-L-A-H. -L -L and simple dramatria word for bread, because remember, Jesus fed the 5,000 bread and fish. The simple dramatria for chala is 45. And the chala is the portion that they would donate to the priests. So on the Sabbath, the Jewish people still eat bread and fish, 
shallah, and fish. But one thing that was interesting was, I just found out tonight when I looked it up, 43 eggs worth of dough makes it such that it's now a portion to be donated to the priests. So there's the four five and there's the four three. I turned this year 43 on four five Passover. Passover was on four five this year, my birthday. And then Chala reduced numerical value is 43. So the individual letters that make up that number, that word is eight plus 30 plus five is 43. And then a different way to look at it for fish, it's D-A-G, the word fish, the singular word for fish. The word is made up of the Hebrew letters Dalet and Gemel. I think I pronounced those right. I'm not sure. But the Dalet is a four and the Gemel is a three. There's another four and three, 43. Four and three is seven. So in John 21, 17, Jesus tells Peter, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Twenty one is seven seven seven. And in two thousand seventeen is when God told me to start writing the musical. Two thousand seventeen was also the Hebrew year five seven seven seven, and five means grace. So you can visualize it. 5777 is the Hebrew year 2017. Now, the interesting thing about bread, it's just a, a funny thing. I come from a family of bread makers. The Freihofer Baking Company, founded by my, like, I think my great-grandfather in Philadelphia. <clears throat> he came over from Germany in 1860, and I believe he started the bread company in, like, the 18, I'm not sure, 1880s, maybe, maybe earlier. But, I mean, it was, like, a huge operation in Philadelphia, huge operation, and then his brother went up to New York and did the bread company up in New York. Um, the Philadelphia company went out of business. The New York company sold out to one of the big food companies. And um, you can still get Freihofer bread and Freihofer chocolate chip cookies, especially in the New York area. So he said to feed my people. So that's what I do with my songs and with the teachings that I do. But I thought I was kind of finished showing you how my life ties into these words and these things in the scripture. But um, he said to show it again tonight. So the only thing I can think of, the reason for it being would be that For those of you who think I'm just like foolish, maybe it clicks that what I'm saying is something to pay attention to. And I'll do it again because it's just, just because why not? Four, five and four, three, four, five and four, three. All right, let's look right to left as they do in the Hebrew. Five, four, three, five, four, three. is the Strong's Hebrew word for Amen. So 4-3 to the right, English. Right to left, 4-5, Hebrew. 43 on Passover. 
I turned 43 on 4-5. Well, Nissan 14, really. This year on Nissan 14. All right, so feed my people bread and fish. And just up there is the Haggai 223. That's the, that's the song. God bless you.